Hey everyone, guess what I got for Mother's Day? See? Not in my new hands. These aren't new, I was born with them. I got a GoPro. And so we're gonna do stuff with the GoPro. And see those? I cut those nettings and we're gonna put them in the patch. <gasps> Did you see the dogs? Perverts. Anywho, we're gonna grab these nettings and we're gonna take them to the patch and cover all the bags to keep the vine borers out. Supposedly vine borers come out um, mid-May. So I gotta get these on, no, mid-June. So I gotta get these on. No longer poop mountain, you're not allowed in here. But I love you. Okay, so we'll try to do this quick. Oh, I'm gonna need more landscape staples. So I cut these all roughly the same size. Oh, and I wanted to get seeds. I put two in here and only one came up, so I wanted to replant. Wish I would have been more prepared, I would have come out with the seeds. Round two. Okay, so the one that did not come up here in this corner is, yeah, Lumine, Lumina. And I'm out of that seed. I used the last ones in there, so oh, we'll pick something different to go in there. <clears throat> Let's see. All three of the Honey Nut Butternut Squash came up. Oh, only one Big Max. Which, I mean, is probably a good thing. Mm. Oh, sorry, raspberries. Okay, I don't have enough hands. Where's the Big Max? Here it is. Go big or go home. That's what I always say. So we'll do. Ah, put everything down. Okay. Well, right next to an emitter. Right. Well, but I want it to angle that way. I'll put it next to this emitter. Just stick it down in there. Okay. Jaradell is. Nope. Wow. Honey nut butter nut squash. Those came up, those are cantaloupe and cantaloupe. So yay, we already got four cantaloupes. Gotta keep the vine borers out. Get these weeds. This one compost I got, like the weeds, seeds inside of it are ridiculous. Nutting back on. All right, something like that. 
if you watched my video where I built the trellises, um, when you buy those trellises, you get a bag of these for free, which really come in handy. These bigger ones are a lot stronger than the smaller ones, but they come in handy. So if you want a free bag, buy a, a trellis. Oh. hope that works I hope 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 the first year I gardened the pumpkins were glorious like oh my word so many pumpkins such good size beautiful and then um, the second year I guess the squash bugs and vine borers caught wind of the situation going on over here and uh, took them all out and I didn't even plant them in the exact same spot I mean still in the backyard just not in the exact same spot so that was a bummer and uh, let's see here one more so this year we're trying it again but we're gonna take precautions because my son wants pumpkins and corn of course the two most difficult things for me to grow oh there's only three oh darn yeah, we're gonna do this two most difficult things to grow for me of course is what he picked naturally final product for the next six weeks um, it's Mid-June to the end of July is when the vine borers are active. So actually, it's not gonna be the next six weeks. It's gonna be until these plants need to expand beyond their given area. So the vine borers could still get to them, but at least the plants will be really mature. One more thing to consider is starting the plants later. That way they don't exceed this amount of space. Uh, and then they'll be ready this will be ready to come off the end of july when the plants are ready to be uh, given more room so yeah we'll see we'll see how this year year goes and next year i might start all the plants later we'll see we've got 10 more to go I already ran out of clips, but luckily I have more. Just gotta dig them out. All I have. It definitely won't be enough, so we're gonna have to do this with some landscape staples as well. She had a bath today. Now look at her. Last one, yay! <sighs> awesome. Okay. See, they're all done. We got a few extra because we have some zucchini over there that we need to plant. Uh, while we're here, let's see if we can, um, what's the word? 
what I said earlier, oh, thin. We're just gonna pull one that, the ones that look the weakest, if we can even tell. I think we're good. I guess while I was here, I should have grabbed some corn seeds to fill in the missing holes. Let me go grab that. Okay, we're gonna call it good enough. Let's go look at the other side. See what we're missing. supposed to be six wide. There's already six here. But I could squeeze one in there anyways. Maybe. Alright. Cool. One last look. I'll come back and get that box and or drug in my bag. Glad to have that done. <laughs> it's like a bunch of ghosts out there. That's definitely not attractive. And not ideal at all but it's uh, I guess it's what we're gonna have to do I don't know of a better way unless I try to spray with chemicals or something and I don't want to do that so I guess that's how it's gonna be all right so zucchini there's one right here and they are doing spectacular getting massive already all right zucchini is here I read on uh Google that these um, vine borers will also go after cucumber plants. Have y'all had that happen? Let me know because I haven't yet so I'm just worried that if the only thing they can get to is the cucumber and not their preferred uh, like I don't know oh, squash and melons and whatever then what if they go after my, my cucumbers? I don't want that. Oops. So y'all let me know. If you know, or have experience. Yes, baby, baby girl. I'm in love. Hi. <laughs> I love you. You won. All right, that one should be good. I have one. Can I have it? <laughs> you 
you dork. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Fine, take this one. Okay, here we are. Last, last one. Thank goodness. This is a bush cucumber. That's why I was asking if you know about them going after. Oh man, I forgot to pull the weeds out of that one before I put the netting on. Darn it. Ooh, man. Definitely have major weeding to do around here again. So that's 13 that we did. I can always do more if the bush cucumber needs it. Of course, I won't know unless one of y'all let me know or I find out the hard way. <laughs> we'll see. Got that one. It's only two zucchini containers, uh, two plants in each. So four zucchini plants total, which is plenty. I find myself not using zucchini very much at all unless I hide it in something or like make zucchini bread or zucchini muffins like I did in a previous video, if you saw that. Uh, so four zucchini plants is plenty. That is my whole point. Those bars still need to go on the gazebo somewhere. I don't even know where they're supposed to hook in. Anywho, need the watering can. Awesome, I'm super happy to have this done. I think I got it done in time. Got it done before the vine, bo bor ugh, vine borers or are active. Thank goodness. Now, the biggest thing is getting this corn to grow tall so we can put that mulch back in place because it is looking like a mess in here and I don't like it. I want this to be pretty. Come on, get in there. It's starting to get dark. Let me see if the lights will help. See my girl? See my girl? Let me see. Garden lights. Bam. Is that not the coolest? I don't know if this new camera does well in the dark. But we'll see. So, all right. I'm gonna clean up my mess. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Oh. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. I'm not sure if I said that in the right order. Okay. Yay. Project done. Hope it works. I will definitely keep y'all posted and let you know. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.